steps and and this is what Extreme Tony and, and Andy Moas got to do with this matchup here. And now, XT for that face buster on the Exoticai. And now XT just sending Exo back in the ring. And damn, what a spine buster. XT sending Zorkai to the ropes and Andy catching him with a spine buster. And now, oh, low blow. Not too surprising. And I don't even think that Zorkai needs to go down that route, to be honest. Because he can just dominate someone all by himself cleanly. That's just my honest opinion. Andy slow to get up from that one. And now, Irish Whip. And now, Andy counters with a DDT. Try to get some momentum. And I try to work on the leg of, of Exoticai. And now go with a single leg Boston Crab. And now, Exoticai able to get out of it. And now, both Extreme Tony and Zodiac back in their respective corners. And oh, what a boot to the face, knocking Andy out out of the ring and now try to take a shot at XT but unable to get out of that one that hip toss that cheap shot if you will and now a knife edge chop sending XO the corner gets the tag into XT nice hip toss good double team maneuver there and now XT with a quick jab I don't know how he was able to get that headlock Look at the size difference between the height difference between these two. I mean, the five foot ten extreme Tony, and then the seven foot two Exoticai. That is a major height difference, fourteen inches to be exact. And now gets the tag into Zodiac, and now Exoticai has a hold of Extreme Tony, and that's that buys some time for Zodiac to get back up. And now throws a punch and kicks and knocking XC out of the ring. Damn. I mean, Zodiac is no joke. I mean, I mean, this is a zombie for, for crying out loud. And a kick to the midsection. Now XC going with a float over DDT. And the fans are proving that one. And now XC going high risk. And what a crossbody. Knocking XC off the top rope. And now we're going to work on that on the back. Just kicks to the back there by Zodiac. Misses with that double axe handle. And now XT with a head scissors takedown. And now XT sending Zodiac to the to his team's corner. A counter. And what a kick to the midsection. And now a oh, headbutt right to the back of XT and that's been the game plan for Zodiac when he's in the ring. Just, just go after the back, which, really, which has been a very good game plan. And now, damn, Zodiac is just staying aggressive. And now, getting back up. And XC just able to get out of that submission hold. And what a clothesline by Zodiac. And now XC gets the tag into Andy. Now, Andy. One like a house of fire, knocking down Zodiac and now going after Zodiac, kind of knocking him off the ring apron. And now kick to the midsection. I know he was going for that Death Valley driver and damn, what a German suplex and Zodiac got with a counter before that. Try to take a cheap shot at Extreme Tony and now a counter by Zodiac and now XC got a hold of him. Damn, what a knife edge chop. Man, I would I would have never thought that Extreme Tony and Andy would be teaming up. I mean, I still don't believe it. I'm just being honest. Well, I mean, I guess let bygones be bygones and try to bury the hatchet and we we got some more serious foes to to handle. I don't know what was said, but that's 
that's my assumption. Now, just walking on the arm gets the tag into Extreme Tony. And a couple of jabs there. And a drop kick to the knees. Now, counter there by Zodiac. And now XC going again with the head scissors takedown. I mean, I think with Extreme Tony, he's 5'10, 270 pounds. He's not he's not exactly the tallest guy or the fastest. But he does use kind of like a like a short boxer going up against a much taller fighter. Let's say for example a uh, James lights out Tony immediately going after the world heavyweight title against either Vitaly or Vladimir Klitschko. I mean that is a major height difference. As James lights out Tony about 5'10, 220 some pounds. And then wait. And now what's Zodiac doing? Damn! What a superplex and and Zodiac getting up like if it was nothing. And I guess a tag into Exotikai. I mean, as I, back to the point I was trying to make, I mean, if James lights out Tony goes goes up against Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko, I mean, you got those two twin brothers from well that, they're not twin brothers there, I mean two brothers from the Ukraine that are that hold two different heavyweight towels in boxing. I mean, one of them is six seven, the other one's six eight. I mean imagine the height difference. But on that point, I mean I mean the reach advantage is so so great, I mean and then you have to have, you have to be able to fight inside a lot more as a shorter fighter. I mean, that's kind of the approach that Extreme Tony is taking. And uh, a hot shot there by Andy. Well, I mean, with XT, I mean, going up against the much heavier opponents, XT will try to go more high risk. And oh, what a tackle by Exotikai. And just, just making a mockery there. Jaron XT to get back in the ring. And counter by Exotikai. Uh, club to the back, and my goodness, and now gets a tag into Zodiac. Andy stepping out for a minute to try to collect his breath and his thoughts. A couple of stumps to the midsection on the Zodiac, and just trying to work on that on that leg. And a counter by Zodiac misses that punch out of, a little bit out of reach. And Andy, I mean, he's not exactly uh, like a technically tr skilled or he's more of a hardcore specialist. That, I mean, he, he's going to have to rework his strategy in this match. This is, this is just a traditional tag team match. Both of them missing on, the, on their moves, and, but Andy got him with that clothesline. And now Andy... Just working on the arm. And we saw earlier, if you're just joining us, Jonathan Magnum, one on one against Cole Cabana, and what a clothesline. As Magnum was saying about he wanted to start over in an interview, I mean, I mean, one final thought about that. And, oh man, you see the elevation on that one. I mean, with, I think. What, what Jonathan Magnum is doing with his starting over, he wants to refocus and try to come back stronger than ever for a towel shot at the ultimate title once he gets back to that level again. The nice counter by Andy as we get back into this matchup. And now XC got a hold of Exotikai. And now X XO counters. And now Irish Whip reverse. Exotica unable to do anything there. And Andy went a little bit Ultimate Warrior there. <laughs> a nice counter. Now got a hold of him with a go behind. Now Exotica. Oh, that wheelbarrow slam. And Andy's busted wide open. And now this is the. the, the could this be it? One, two, and. XT with the 11th hour save. Man, man, if he hadn't done that, that would have been that would have been the match right there. And now, 
Exordikai just continuing to work on Eddie here. He's got to make the tag. And now sidestepping him. And he misses. He's got to make the tag. And he does. And now XT tagged in. A nice drop kick. And they're just working the arm. Just trying to... Well, you get the idea. And now sending XO to the corner. XT. Off the top. Delivers a nice bulldog. And now XT going high risk. And now wait. Exotikai getting back up. And XT misses that clothesline. And now delivers a devastating clothesline. And now stomping away. And now gets the tag into Zodiac. Damn, what a punch there by Zodiac. And knocking Andy right off the ring apron. Now what's Zodiac going to do? Extreme Tony with a counter. Now Exo's countering. And now just going back and forth here. And now, damn, what a German suplex. I mean, that's what XT's got to do. I mean, he doesn't have that upper body strength, but he does make it up with his lower body strength and just using good technique and having great technical ability to, to pull off a lot of suplexes and 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 now XT throwing Zoyak down to the ground and now deliver an elbow off the second rope. And now going for the cover. Can this be all? No, only only a one count. Damn, and Andy just tossing Exotica up and over in the ring. And now Bulldog by Zodiac. Elbow to the back. And now Zodiac with a submission hold. XT able to kick, escape, kick X Zodiac in the back of the head. And now a neck breaker by Zodiac. As the momentum is in favor of Exotica and Zodiac. Who in my opinion are still the most dominant tag team. When they're teaming up together. Even more dominant than Slash and Sherman. But their, but their title reign that they won that lasted over 300 days. I mean that was impressive. And now XT going with a, with a figure four leg lock. And Zodiac able to, able to break up that submission hold. Punch. And now XT counters a kick. And gets him with that dragon screw takedown. And now. Oh, come on. I mean, that was uncalled for. Now, I mean, this is the advantage that the, this gives Exodicai. I mean, when XT, he, he, he's been resilient. I mean... And now XT with a float over DDT, picking up momentum here. I mean, Extreme Tony has been in these situations many times before where, where he just has to dig deep like the fourth quarter and just able to, to make that fourth quarter comeback. And clothesline after clothesline by Exotikai now putting XT on the top rope, on the top of that turnbuckle. And now... Oh, what a superplex. Damn. And Exotikai getting up like if it was nothing. Sending Extreme Tony to the corner. Gets a tag in to Zodiac. Damn, what elevation there that Tony took. Well, that eight foot elevation off that double team, that back body drop. And now. And now XT going with that Charger Suplex, that Exploder Suplex, and now the cover only gets a one count. I mean, I mean, what does what does Tony and Andy have to do to put away Exotica and Zodiac? I mean, as a